morning year six it is mrs holmes here back for another english recorded lesson so in today's english lesson we are going to be looking a little bit more at the character of pavel who we meet in chapter seven of the boy in the striped pajamas so if you haven't already read chapter seven please can you go and either watch my video on my youtube channel of me reading chapter seven or if you go on Seesaw, I have posted a link which will take you to the entire text of The Boy in the Striped Pajamas and you can just scroll down to chapter seven. So we are going to make a start now. So I'm going to just share my screen. Share, share, share. And I'm going to start it now. Okay, so um, as you can see there, we've got the date Wednesday, the 3rd of February, 2021, and your walk for today is a diary entry. Now, what I want you to do uh, after this lesson is to be able to write in first person and from Pavel's point of view. So in your diary entry, it's going to be first person and you are going to be Pavel. Then the second thing is I want you to ensure that your tone reflects Pavel's personality. And we're going to talk a little bit more about Pavel's personality in a moment. I also want you to write in chronological order. And we already know that that means in time order. So what happens first, next, after that, and finally. In your diary entry, I want you to be able to portray the character's thoughts and feelings. So in this case, it would be the thoughts and feelings of Pavel. And then, obviously, I would like you to write in full sentences and in paragraphs. Okay, so those are the things I want you to I want to be able to see in your writing. So let's move on. So I've got a picture here to start off with. And we can see in the picture that there's lots of children and some adults, they're all wearing some striped shirts. Now, I know that when I read uh, one of the chapters, I can't remember which one it was now, when Bruno looks out the window, this is what he can see. He can see lots of boys and men and uncles and grandfathers, etc., all wearing what looks like striped pajamas. And this is a picture that I find of what those people may have looked like. So I just want you to take a moment and just look at them. What do you think of their clothes? How do you think they are feeling? Why do you think there's barbed wire there? What do you think they are being? Okay, going to move on now. Okay. So Pavel is a character whom we meet in chapter seven. And you can see there that there is a little picture uh, that I've just taken from the movie. I'm just going to make sure that I can share the sound. Okay, so what do you remember from chapter seven? We know that Lieutenant Kotler is in chapter seven and we know that he, uh, Bruno doesn't really like Lieutenant Kotler that much. Do you remember how Lieutenant Cutler speaks to Pavel? What does he say and how does he say it? And how does Bruno react to this? How does he react to how Lieutenant Cutler speaks to Pavel? Do you remember what Pavel does for Bruno? What favour did Bruno ask? And what then did Pavel go and do for him? How does Pavel treat Bruno? What kinds of things does he say and how does he say it? Is Pavel a good or a bad man? And why do you think that? So those are just some questions to have a little think about what we already know about Pavel from having read chapter seven. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to show you a clip from the movie, which will kind of summarise a little bit about what, what chapter seven was about. Um, so the clip is about five or six minutes long. Um, it's a really good scene from the movie about Pavel and how we meet him. So I'm just going to get that up for you now. No, I'm not. Give me one second. Okay, I think this 
guess I'll be okay on my. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is Bruno. And this is the part of the chapter where he sees Lieutenant Cutler and Gretel talking. Good morning, little man. And how are you this morning? Can I ask you a favour? Well, you can ask. Are there any spare tyres around? An old one from one of the trucks or something? Well, the only spare tyre I've seen around here belongs to Lieutenant Meinberg. Well, is he using it? Yes, he's very attached to it. <laughs> oh, stop it. He doesn't understand. He's only eight. You're only 12. So stop pretending you're any older. What do you want a tyre for, anyway? You want to make a swing? A swing? That does sound exciting. You! Here, now! Move! Take this boy to the outhouse in the back garden. There are some tyres in there. He will select one, you will carry it wherever he asks. Do you understand? Well, little man, what are you waiting for? This one. She's out. When is she back? Soon, I expect. But don't worry. But I might bleed to death. No, you won't. Well, I need to go to hospital. No. It's only a small cut. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. sit still for a few minutes before you start walking around on that again. Will you tell my mum what happened? I think she's going to see for herself. She'll probably take me to a doctor. I don't think so. It could be worse than it looks. It isn't. How would you know? You're not a doctor. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You peel potatoes. I practiced as a doctor before I, before I came here. 
You couldn't have been much good then if you had to practice. Now, what are you going to be when you grow up? I know. An explorer. How do you know that? Is it nice on the farm? Bruno, Bruno, what happened to you? I made a swing, but I fell off it and cut my knee. But Pavel here carried me in and put a bandage on it. Go to your room. But Pavel says I... Don't argue, go to your room. Thank you. Okay, everyone. So that is the clip from the Boy in the Striped Pajamas movie, where um, we can see a little bit about what happened in chapter seven. So I'm just going to look back at the PowerPoint now. This one, okay. I'm just going to move on to the next slide. Okay, so what do we actually learn about Pavel? And these are things that are going to be really important for your diary entry and what kinds of things to include. Now, we saw a, quite a lot in the clip there, but some things we only know from reading the chapter as well. So what do we already know about Pavel? We know that he is old because in the chapter, or in, in the book, Bruno does say that he looks older than father, but not quite as old as grandfather. And Bruno also thinks that he may have also had a beard in the past. So maybe he's got some stubble. We also know that he peels vegetables in the kitchen. So in this clip, he's peeling potatoes, but sometimes he can peel carrots and other things like that and other general bits in the kitchen, like bringing the vegetables, which is why Bruno thinks he works on a farm. Okay, um, he also waits on Bruno's family at mealtimes. So he is a bit like a waiter. He brings their food to them. He clears their plates. We know from watching the video there and from reading the chapter, that Lieutenant Cutler is very rude to Pavel and shouts at him and speaks to him in a very rude and disrespectful way. How do you think that makes Pavel feel? So oh, sorry, boys and girls, my phone was going off there. Um, so yeah, he's spoken to really rudely by Lieutenant Cutler and uh, we're not quite sure why. Why does he speak to him in that way and how do you think that makes Pavel feel? We know from the book and from watching the clip, he, uh, is, he speaks very quietly and he usually speaks with his head down as well. So why, how do you think he's feeling and why do you think he's talking in that way? We know that he helps Bruno find a swing. We also know that he rushes to help Bruno when he falls and then cleans it up for him at using a first aid kit. So why do you think he does those things? Do you think that makes him a nice man or what do you think he's still a bad person? What do you think? How do you think Pavel felt when he saw little Bruno falling and hurting himself? We know that he used to practice as a doctor. What kind of a person do you think that makes him? In the book, he doesn't say it in the video, but in the book he says, I think I've always been here when Bruno asks him how long he has been at Outworth. Why do you think maybe he said that? Okay. So there's lots of information there and lots of things for you to think about and include when you are writing your diary entry. So let's go back to the um, wolf. Here we go. Okay, 
let's recap. You're going to write a diary and you're going to write it in first person from Pavel's point of view. So you are going to be Pavel. You're going to ensure that your tone reflects Pavel's personality. So what have we learned about Pavel's personality? Be an angry man. Is he going to write in an angry tone? Is he a happy man? Is he going to write in a happy, joyful tone? Is he quite sad and lonely and depressed? Is that the tone that I'm going to see from your writing? Have a think about that. You're going to write in chronological order. So you're going to write about what happens that day when Pavel helps Bruno after he's fallen off the tree. So what is the first thing that you think Pavel does? Hmm, we know he brings vegetables to the house and peels vegetables. We know in the film he can be seen with a wheelbarrow, but maybe he's doing some work outside. Then we know that the Lieutenant Cutler shouts over to him and asks him to help Bruno find the wheel or the tire for the swing. Then we know that he helps Bruno after he's fallen over and that he helps Bruno again by patching up his knee. We also know from the book that mo mother, while she does say thank you to him in the video, in the book she also asks him not to tell anyone that he's helped Bruno and tell everyone that it was mother to help Bruno. She takes credit and that's what the chapter is called when mother takes credit for something she doesn't do. Those are all the things that have happened in that chapter and that is how you should structure your diary. That is what I mean by chronological order. I also want you to include thoughts and feelings and we've already spoken about how Pavel might be feeling through different time, different events that have happened that day. And last but not least and always, would like you to write in full sentences and in paragraphs. It's up to you how many paragraphs you write for your diary entry. I would say at least three paragraphs, but you can write more if you want to. Okay, guys, so I would like you to do your writing on Seesaw. So you can use the notes if you want to, or I will upload a template if that is easier to submit, uh, or you can handwrite it and then post it as a picture. So I hope that is okay with everyone. I'm really looking forward to seeing your diary entries. If you haven't managed to catch up to chapter seven yet, please do that as a priority because we will be moving on very soon to chapter eight and I don't want anyone to fall behind. So that's it for me today. Have a lovely Wednesday and I will see you for another recorded lesson very soon. Bye everyone.